Hey guys, it's Nicole and I'm back and I want to do a plan with me video. So if you're interested in seeing how I plan for the week in my happy planner, stay tuned. Okay, so first off, I'm going to speed this up in a little bit just so you can um, get it all in a short period of time. But pretty much I first start off by looking at my monthly view. Here's my previous week, just to give you a sneak peek. And then I jump right on in. So the very first thing I wanted to do was map out the um, days off and the back to school night that is happening this week. So I'm using this washi tape, this ruler washi tape that I got from the dollar section of Target during the back to school season and I'm layering it with these stickers from a recollections brand from Michaels they're really cute little bunting flags and these puffy apple stickers so I think the combination of it makes a really cute um, school theme for back to school night and for the day off on Labor Day and then I'm gonna go ahead and add another one of those bunting flags for my um, four-year-old swim class. So anything that I really want to stand out, I like to add a sticker for that. Now I'm covering up the top where it says morning with this really thin washi tape. It's kind of transparent, which I don't like, and eventually I'm gonna actually cover that up later on in the video. And then I add some decorative washi just to add a pop of color. I'm really liking this color scheme that was inspired by a Target sticker um, pack that I bought. It's navy, orange, and teal with bronze accents. And I also got these little pumpkin page flags from the dollar spot at Target as well. And I thought I can just it, use adhesive on the back of those and just put a couple of them in there to bring that fall theme without it being like overly fall. So here's my little sticker pack from Target that I got. Really cute stickers, guys. It was $3.00 for this entire sticker pack and it's so worth it to get several sheets. I put a navy blue bunting flag and it has like a bronze foil outline, really cute. And now I'm stamping um, or testing out my new Happy Planner um, checklist stamp. And as you can see, it did not turn out the way that I thought it would. And I actually had to go back and write those parts in. I'm pretty disappointed about this stamper because I really wanted to get it because I thought it would help me out. Because I'm always doing to-do list in the top section of my planner. But, eh, guys, I don't really give this thing a great review. It's self-inking, self but it just doesn't do a great job. So, moving on, now I'm writing my to-dos in the top box there to do along the top. And I didn't really like the way that this turned out. I always use a Sharpie when I'm writing on top of stickers so that it'll pop and stand out. And um, it didn't stand out as much as I liked. I actually continued using the Sharpie on the actual sticker boxes, which I wasn't supposed to do because Sharpies bleed through. So you're going to see me going back and forth with my gel ballpoint pen and the Sharpie um, just to write on specific stickers. And here's another sticker that I labeled on, layered on for church on Saturday and that one didn't really pop so I decided to put a navy blue bunting flag on top of it from the Target dollar sticker section that um, pack that I got and I love these stickers I love them and they come with these fun colors that I like labeling all layering on for Sunday because Sundays are our family fun day so I like to just jazz it up since we never really have any obligations just fun hanging out with the family so I'm going to go ahead and add my, um, my Me and My Big Ideas Mandy stickers that have inspirational themes on there. And I picked this green one that go along, goes along with the color scheme. And then I went back and added a little bit more cute sticker flourishes with that Target $3 sticker pack that I bought. So here it's looking pretty good. I like how it looks so far. And now what I'm going to go ahead and do is add a few more um, stickers that are more like functional kind of just to flag off some things and to highlight some things 
And as you can see, I'm kind of trying to cover up the to-do mess that I made at the top <laughs> with the skinny washi. And I didn't like these either. So I decided to go ahead and remove those, put them back on the sticker sheet, and go and continue with the same bunting flags that I got from the recollection stickers from Michaels. And it ended up working out a lot better because it just popped a lot more. And one thing that I would recommend is that whenever you're planning using better stickers, try to stick with things that aren't white or cream. I know a lot of sticker shops sell white and cream background things, but planners are white. The paper is usually white and it doesn't really pop. So that's why I really love these bunting flags because they're really cute colors and they really pop against um, the sticker um, planner background. And I added these little bunting flags over the weekend that I thought was really cute again from that Target $3 sticker planner pack that I got. I'm loving it. I just love the subtleness of the fall theme. With the, with the orange and the navy and the teal and the green. I just absolutely love it right now. So I'm going to go ahead and add these stickers. I love, love these stickers. Thank you so much to my friend Ginger. She has a shop. Um, it's called the Fortuitous Fern. And it's just, she made me these stickers that are so perfect for my chores. I love them. Go to her shop, guys. Check it out on Etsy. She make custom stickers for whatever you have and need for. So now I'm going back in and I'm just writing in everything that I need to on top of my sticker for Saturday, for the Sabbath, going to church, time frame that I'll be there, so on and so forth. And I'm going to go ahead and write in my youngest son's swimming class right there. And I added that page flag over it just to make it pop and put a little star in there so that it can really stand out. So now I'm just going to go ahead and write in other things like the back to school night on top of the washi tape and bunting flag right there by the apple. So cute. I'm loving this setup right now for labeling anything school related. I think it's going to be like my thing. So when I'm labeling anything school related, it's going to be the ruler washi tape with the little um, apple sticker on top. So right now I'm just going ahead and continuing to fill in certain things that are important. Like on Monday, we're going to be doing um, some fun stuff for Labor Day, hanging out with some friends. And um, continuing to just write in the bottom, like, you know, meet up with family members and everything on Monday. And eventually I'm going to go ahead and put in some gym stickers at the bottom every night just to remind myself to take myself there because I need to go. Okay. <laughs> So right now I'm using another one of those pumpkin page flags. I'm going to use the adhesive on the back so that it sticks completely to the page. And what I'm going to use that for is for my meal plan tracker. And I thought it was a really cute idea to just put a little page flag over it and write meal plan in it. And on top of the actual little pumpkin, I'm going to write out my meals for the week. And here's my little page flags for working out. So I just put those in there and I write Jim on them. I really love these stickers. Like the little foil background that in bronze is to die for. I love this sticker pack. So um, I'm going to go ahead and write in on top of my stickers that I've just laid out, meal plan. And on the little pumpkin, I'm just putting like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday in a little dotted line so that I can write out my meals. I really haven't planned the meals this week yet because we have a three-day weekend and I'm just kind of just chilling. We've just kind of been going with the flow. So eventually I'm going to fill them in as I get inspired. And here I'm adding my Bible journaling to my to-do. The top of my to-dos every day is my Bible study. And then I'm just putting in a few extra things on my to-do list every day. Throwing in a couple extra notes to myself and a couple extra accent stickers. Jazzing it up with some little hand lettering and some swirls and things like that. And just writing things in. And I've left ample space for me to be able to add things in. So here it is, guys. Here it is. And I hope you enjoyed planning with me. Talk to you later. Bye.